Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I would like to share a recent shoe purchase. They are from Portland Leather Goods. Uh, I have shared quite a few Portland Leather Goods handbags before. Portland Leather Goods makes uh, affordable full green leather products. They initially start with handbags, now they introduce shoes as well. So technically the brand is called Patina, but it's in it's within the same company as Portland Leather Goods. And you can directly purchase the shoes on Portland Leather Goods website or on Patina website. I pick up uh, the chunky loafer from their line. So it's a new product, re quite uh, recently released. And I will talk about the price, the sizing, my first impression, comfortability, all that information. So the shoes comes in a variety of different colors. The one I got is in color cream. They also have black. They have a more brick reddish color one and they have a more neutral brown one i decided to go with uh, the cream color because i think this color match my skin tone better so if i don't wear socks it will make my legs look super long and i don't have that many uh, light color shoes and that's why i decided to go with this pair the price for uh, the footwear is generally just a premium price. For Portland Leather Goods handbags, they have the premium line, the almost perfect line, and C grade line. So the almost perfect is there maybe is more heavy characteristics, and C grade is even more heavy characteristic. But the price for those items will be much lower compared to the premium product. And for footwear so far, I haven't seen the on the almost perfect section. Um, I have seen maybe one time they were on screaming deal, so temporarily price reduction for a certain color. But beyond that, most I think most of the time I only see them as the premium. The price is one hundred thirty-two dollar before discount, and the price uh, the website always has at least twenty-five percent off discount active and for specific holidays like christmas thanksgiving they usually have 30 percent off so it's really just five additional percent off uh, compared to the regular price so taking that 25 percent off into consideration the price for them is about hundred dollars and of course you will need to pay shipping so the price point for this shoe, I would say, is very comparable to a lot of the common brands like Steve Madden, Aldo, I'm trying to think other brands, but in general, it's pretty consistent with these uh, brands who also make shoes, but higher than the brands who uh, make clothes, but also shoes like H&M, those high street brands. And I do want to point out the quality of these shoes, I think is pretty good because they use full green leather. So it's the best grade, uh, highest grade leather and typical brands would not use full green leather on footwear. So let me talk about the sizing. I got these shoes in size six and a half. So they do have half size. So if you are between size, you can choose the half size shoes they do have a wide range of um, sizing options but currently they do not have a wide option so they only have standard um, size my feet i generally don't purchase wide um, size i just purchase the regular stand size my sneaker size is six and a half almost in all brands and my more formal footwear or boots the size could range I can get six, between six to seven, depends on the style, also depends on the brand. I decided to went with six half for these. I, when I put them on a uh, barefoot, I would say the sizing is pretty accurate. Uh, and I even tried with uh, socks on, it's still okay, but I feel like they may stretch a little bit. 
uh, as as I break them in. So I would say the siding is pretty uh, standard and consistent with other brands. Uh, the shoe is definitely not very wide, but it's not very narrow either. But if you have a wide feet, you may have you you may feel the shoe is a little bit tight. So let me get some close up. So the upper part of the shoe is full green leather. It's leather inside and leather outside. The bottom is a pretty sturdy <laughs> base. I'm not a hundred percent sure the material, but it is. A chunky loafer which is very in style right now and you can see all the stitching the shoe definitely looks really good like high quality made the inside has good cushion so it is quite comfortable to step on the shoe and the bottom says uh, Patina, which is the brand. Here also has more information about the shoe. So for this particular color, I would say the leather is on the relatively stiffer side when I first got it. The tongue, you, like you can kind of see when I try to bend the tongue, it's on the stiff. And this is the only chunky stiff, uh, chunky um, loafer I have so I cannot really compare to another loafer but I do have regular loafer without the chunky heel and I would say this one is from Clark the leather is much softer it is also uh, leather outside and leather inside but this leather is so much softer this leather almost feel lambskin compared to this uh, leather also, I have one from um, Eldo, and even though you don't really see a difference in terms of toe box, this one actually is wider because the, the material is very thin compared to this thicker, more structured material. Uh, this toe box was, is actually wider, and this, again, is also softer as well. And both the Clarks and the Aldo one, when I first got them, they were very soft right out of the box. And this uh, one from Portland Goods or Patina definitely feels a little bit, uh, let it feel a little bit thicker and definitely more structured when I first got it. And I, I would assume it will soften over time and when I break the shoes in. But I do want to point out, it's not a shoe that was, you don't need any breaking period. I do feel like this shoe, this pair of shoe will need some breaking period. In terms of uh, comfortability, uh, I want to talk about a few things. First, I mentioned the, the insole has cushion, so it's comfortable to step on it. Because the leather is a little bit stiffer, uh, it actually, this part, it somehow rubbed my feet a little bit. I'm not sure if it's because the back is really narrow and the leather is structured. I can feel here it rub against my feet a little bit. And also here, this part rub, rub my feet a little bit. It's very odd, but I, I, I normally don't have shoes um, rubbing my feet along this area, but this one somehow it does. So it's not a shoe that I can wear bare feet super from comfortably right out of the box. I try to wear them with socks on. It also helps with breaking. And when the socks are on, they felt okay. But what's weird is usually my left foot is bigger than my right foot so usually when I get a pair of new shoes my left foot will feel more restricted or tighter than the right side however this pair it's the opposite I'm not sure why it's kind of odd um, a little bit that way but in general I feel like the sizing is 
pretty consistent with my sneaker size. So if you wear size 7 sneaker, I would recommend getting size 7. And the next I will show you how they look on my feet. So you can um, see a little bit more detail how they look on me and I can directly point out where I may not feel 100% comfortable or I can show you the sizing a little bit better that way. So right now I have um, the shoes on. You can see one side I put the socks on, the other side without socks. I think I prefer the look without my white socks. It somehow looks more natural. The color of the shoe match my skin tone better. And this is how it looks on the side. So I can put, not really a whole finger, but I can definitely feel, uh, I can almost insert a finger in the shoe. So I don't think the shoe is short in that sense, but I do want to point out where it kind of rubs. These two sides, it feels, I do feel like they are rubbing my ankle a little bit and also along the side as well. The leather is definitely a little bit stiffer. Now let me show you how it looks compared to my other loafers. But of course they, they are very different. One is chunky, the, uh, the other ones are just flat. They definitely give different vibes and that's why I decided to pick up the Chunky Loafer from Pearl Leather Goods. I've tried the brands before and I know the leather quality is amazing. So I just want to try their footwear as well. And the leather is definitely still high quality leather, but slightly stiffer. I'm hoping I can wear it more and Hopefully the leather will soften over time and becomes more comfortable. So if you are thinking about getting a pair of chunky loafers from Polana Goods or Patina, I hope this video is helpful. Thanks for watching the video and see you next time. Bye.